welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new my name is Kayla and today I have another little thrift adventure for you it's basically a jacket haul hey guys welcome back to the channel or welcome if you're new like I said my name is Kayla and today I'm sharing with you guys a little thrift with me slash thrift haul I was having a rough day when I went to the thrift this day that you guys are about to see but for whatever reason rough day meant releasing all of my inhibitions and I talked through the whole process. I often get a little bit nervous um, in thrift stores or just in public places filming so I don't know what happened this day but like like I said release your inhibitions feel the rain on your skin is that what are those words? Release your inhibitions feel the rain on your Anyway though, I went to the Goodwill and I picked up a few pieces and I have one thing that I forgot to show you guys last week so I'm going to show you guys that too. But before we get into this video, don't forget to pause, go down below and hit the subscribe button. It's beautiful, red and white and calling out your name and I want you to join the Glitterbug fam as do I and as does the rest of the fam. Now without further ado, here are my thrift adventures from earlier this week. I love loafers. These are so cute but I definitely don't need them and they're definitely not my size. I high key really love bags like this. I think that they're really cute, very vintagey, great like going out sort of bag. This is a cute sweater. I love this. It's quite oversized. It's like a very pale yellow. Really cute, but I definitely don't need it and I'm also not sure that I'd wear it. time I was here and I actually quite like it. If there weren't attached, if these two things were not attached, I would really love this. These kind of cardigans have become really, really popular on like Instagram and stuff. People will, like button this button and this button or like these two buttons and then just wear nothing underneath it and it's become very popular. size 16 but it does look quite small to be a 16 so I'm gonna try it on see if it fits. Oh that is a long coat. This is the exact type of cardigan you would see on Instagram with like the little lettuce leaf trim and it's like very loose. Yeah, super cute. This is not in my size though. It's cute though. percent off so I like this color we're gonna try that one okay so I'm actually on the hunt for like a good blazer as well I really want to find one of those good like oversized blazers but I don't really want like a menswear blazer because I want it to fit well so I'm gonna look around this one I like right but I want it to be a little bit longer here. it's not like super long so it's an option possibly, but I do, I think I want it to be a bit longer. So I'm gonna keep looking. Really love this. I wish it was not as big, but this is a great plus size item. And I think it's so cute, really trendy. This is another one, another really great plus size item. doesn't really look like it's gonna fit like a 16. I'm more along like a size 12 and it looks like maybe the sizing is a little off for this. So I'm gonna try this on, it's really cute. Here's the pants section, which is truly the most intense. 
intimidating section in this store for me, but we're gonna look. I see some corduroy here already. Definitely not gonna fit me, but it is cute. and I'm not gonna fit in these. These are super tight and honestly, I probably would need like a 14 in something like these because these really come in very tight around the waist. I see a pair over here. a good thrifted dress but i am looking through the dress section nonetheless so maybe i'll find something else i like in here so far nothing and i've looked through two of the four racks so we'll see i do like this skirt but definitely a wouldn't fit me and b is like very particular color scheme Okay. Outerwear here, and then I have two sweaters, and then four bottoms, which is actually pretty good. So we're gonna try all this on, I'll let you know what I think. Mm, high key, I love this. This is a look, this is a mood. Okay, so this is like a lot of pattern going on. And I liked this on the hanger because it looked really smart, but I don't love it on and also can't close it. So, and also like arm mobility, this is like a tight pull. So we're gonna skip out on this one. Hell yeah, hell yeah. I love the length, I love the shoulder pads, I love the little black collar. Now this is a size 16 and I can barely get it closed. So again, like sizing discrepancy y'all is a real thing. It is not your body, it is the clothes. But I really like this. It, I think it's a nice fit. It feels very powerful. The pockets aren't real, which is kind of annoying, but this is a flop for sure. Not really a comfortable fabric and I don't love how it looks. It just looks kind of frumpy. <sighs> Hell no. This is really weird fit. Mm. I think this is really cute, but it is kind of tight. And this is again, 16. Mm. Like it. I think it's really cute. I can sit in it, which I didn't think I could. Um, I just don't know that I'll wear it that often, so I'm gonna pass on this and hope somebody else finds good use for it and then to get home. Because it's super cute. Really trying to do. So, this is one or two sizes too big. But really cute. These feel very cool in 70s, but. Mmm. They're a bit. So far I'm getting the first three jackets that I tried on. I also have two skinny little scarves in here that I think go really well with jackets. And now I'm heading over to like the home decor stuff. I don't like any of the bottoms, sadly, but I'm not surprised. Get central. This is a good one for like a wall or thing. A basketball. What is this? Okay, so I just left the Goodwill um, and I spent $35 
which truly isn't bad. I got three jackets, two scarves, and then a couple of home decor pieces, or a few home decor pieces, or like houseware pieces. Um, so I'm not mad at that, actually. That's not bad at all. $35 for like three coats, like a long coat that's velvet, a like lined blazer coat, and then a like lightweight blazer so maybe not a coat but like a lightweight blazer so i mean like one of those items at a regular store would have been 35 dollars. so i'm not mad at that this is why i love thrifting i also love thrift stores because i i like vintage looking styles in the first place like i said this before my brother often tells me that i dress like a grandma which is probably i mean he's not wrong i really like older styles of clothing as opposed to what i can get in regular clothing stores i often don't find pieces of clothing that i like in regular stores so just shopping at thrift stores really like works for the style that i like so i'm really happy with everything i got i'm gonna go home i'm gonna clean everything off um and then i'll show you guys what i got okay guys so now that i am here it is now monday actually so i'm gonna show you guys all of the pieces i picked up here's my bag here and yes i realized the irony of having my thrifted items in a fast fashion bag yes i get it i hear you let's move on so most of this haul is jackets it's cold here we've already had snow this year um so i picked up three jackets that i'm so stoked about so i'm gonna show you i think my favorite jacket first um so here i have this red jacket it is a nice long red coat it has the vibe of a casual blazer if you guys have seen that instagram video i did so it's quite slouchy now i love this jacket for a few reasons a shoulder pads i'm a shoulder pad queen i think they're so flattering i'm i've been obsessed with 80s and 90s fashion for very very long um so <laughs> had to get this but it's a nice red almost trench coat sort of look to it um, which is, I wanted like a red pea coat, but I, this exceeded what I even envisioned for myself. It is so much nicer. So this is like a long coat. It hits at knee length, just about, just above, I think. It has the little black cuff here, the black around the collar, and then it also folds out. So around the like, buttonholes as well. It's a really nice red. It's not quite cherry. I think it's a bit darker than that, but it's also not like a bright red either. So I did pick this up. I'm a huge, huge fan of this. It is from the brand In Focus Studios. There is no size in here, and I am inclined to say it's possibly a medium. Um, I have no idea what it's made out of, but I don't think that it is. It's definitely like a suede material. So yeah, I picked this up. I'm so flipping excited about that. And it was 50% off. So I got it for $3.50. $3.50. Did y'all hear that? $3.50 for that jacket. That probably cost somebody like 40 bucks when they bought it new. 40 bucks. And I got it for $3.50. What the actual. Honestly, the best find of the entire haul. I'm not sure why I started with it, but whatever okay the next thing i got is another big jacket now this one is a, the same length so it hits about knee it is a it's one of those like fancy dress jackets you know what i mean like you know how you see a lot of the time this is really heavily worn in menswear so you can see that a lot everywhere i'm very inspired by menswear this is from the women's section though um it's from a brand called newport news easy style it is 55 percent wool which we love because wool is a sustainable um, fabric we love that and then 45% viscose which I think is a plastic blend I'm not sure I need to do more research on that the lining is polyester which is synthetic it was made in Russia it's a size 16 it fits like a size 10 12 it fits like a size 12 honestly it does it is not a 16 it fits like a modern day 12 would fit. It's just one of those nice, very heavy, very, like this will keep you very warm in the winter. Great for work. This is great, great work wear. Kind of like a blazer, kind of like a peat coat mix. Like I said, it's a dress, a dress coat. Um, it's got this nice sort of um, herringbone pattern and it's white and black. 
big fan of it. Really cute. My dad has something really similar, just like the menswear version. Um, and honestly, I think that's what inspired me to want to buy this. And this cost me $9.49. So this is the most expensive thing that I got. But I'm really, really happy with this. It fits really well. It's got some pleating in the back, so it's really, really flattering. It's kind of hard to see, but it's really flattering. It hits at a really nice length. It looks really great with um, heeled boots. I actually tried it on with combat boots in the dressing room, and I thought it fit really well. It worked really nicely. Um, yeah, big, big fan. Like I said, very heavy. Gonna keep you warm. I'm gonna probably wear that, actually, as my dress coat. I'm going to a wedding in January. Actually, I'm going to two weddings, and so I will probably wear that to both of those weddings, just because it'll keep me warm, but it's also a dressier coat. Now, the last jacket that I got is a casual blazer as well. It's a bit oversized on me, actually. So this is a fashion bug blazer in the size large, made out of entirely synthetic materials, so 50% polyester, 50% rayon, and the lining is 100% polyester, made in Ukraine. Scandalous. Yeah, this is really cute, I think. It is black and white, and it's, I'm sure, hard to see in this lining because, you know, studio lighting, we don't have that. Who is she? Um, there's a nice, like, olivey green stripe going through this jacket as well. So yeah, I really like this. It's really light. The material mimics linen a bit, but like I said, it is all synthetic materials, which, you know, we don't love, but this is what happens. This is an oldie as well, also has shoulder pads in, um, which will be staying in. I, like I said, really like the shape that it gives my body. It definitely, like, accentuates the hourglass figure, which is one of the big reasons that shoulder pads became so fashionable. The other reason, which I re is another reason I love shoulder pads, is they were actually invented so that women moving into the workforce in the 70s and 80s would have broader shoulders to make them physically rival their male counterparts and to make them look more powerful in work environments, in corporate environments. And so that is another reason why I love a good shoulder pad. That was $6.99. Okay, then I picked up a couple of scarves, which honestly I forgot I picked up. So I picked up this one because I loved the color story. I am obsessed with this pastel green color. I think it's so beautiful paired with the cream. Um, and I don't have anything like it, nor do I have anything this color in my wardrobe. So I'm excited to see how I can play with this. This was $2.49. And then I picked up this just solid green one. It's another skinny scarf. I picked this one up because it's specifically because it matches the stripe in the blazer I just showed you guys. And that's why I picked this up because I thought that they looked so lovely together. Another thing that I picked up is this little hair scarf. It's just this blue hair scarf. I guess it's like a handkerchief too. You could wear it definitely like around your neck. It has some flowers on it. I think they're gray and cream. It's really hard to tell in this lighting. But anyway, I just thought this was really cute to wear in my hair in a ponytail, in a bun, whatever I wish. And that was a dollar. I then picked up a few pieces of home decor. First thing I got are these little salt and pepper shakers and they're in the box. So I did open them up while I was in the thrift store and they're completely sealed. They've never been used. I shook them, nothing came out. There's this like the clear sticker over the little plug at the bottom. And I just thought they were so cute and I couldn't resist. So it's just the little salt and pepper penguin shakers. I thought that these would be so cute for Christmas. And that cost me $3.25, which honestly is kind of expensive for at the thrift store. So the next thing I got are these little guys right here, which are little the wine hooks. And they're also little penguins as well. I'm not like a huge penguin person, but they were cute, so I bought them. They also had snowmen, but the snowmen looked a little bit deformed, so I didn't get them. Like some of their faces looked like they were melting off. I mean, I'm all for like emo alternative melting my face off stuff, but like mashing that with Christmas. Um, I don't know. These were four dollars and twenty-five cents, which again, kind of expensive. And then the last thing I picked up. It is this little, I'm not even sure what you call this. It looks like a pressure plate um, frame and there are some dried flowers in between. I do think it is cute. Um, it matches the sort of bohemian dead things vibe I have going on in here. I thought it was really cute. I am probably gonna spray paint this little frame bit because it is in a, a metal, like a steel color. And I will probably spray paint it gold to match the aesthetic of my room. And that cost me a dollar and 
15 cents. And that is everything that we got at the thrift. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I really want to know what is your favorite item from this haul. And love you guys so, so much. And subscribe down below. Totally free. I'll let you know when I upload new videos, which is mostly every Sunday. Anyway, love you guys a ton. I'll see you guys next week.